So how'd you come um, up with the needle and nudge? That's what we expect. Uh, someone on Twitter posted it, and then uh, a, a lot of my buddies were texting me, so I just went with it. Can you walk us through it, what you saw in that moment? And I just remember, like, kind of pass proing. Um, Coach Henson always, you know, talks about run to the ball. I saw Caleb kind of get held up. I didn't really honestly know, like, how close the first down was. And I just kind of, like, looked at him. And I think he kind of looked at me, and I just, like, ran full speed and hit him. I assumed he was kind of close because there was no whistle. So I assumed that he, the rest maybe thought he was pretty close, like, jockey for a little position. So I just went and I hit him pretty hard. Maybe the, maybe the hardest hit of my life. So it was just, just instincts. Yeah, I just I channeled my inner sumo and just kind of belly bumped him. At what point did you find out or hear that it was like that push that got him over? Not until after the game, like I saw a video of it and I was like, dang. Because in the moment I thought he was already over and maybe it just got like an extra yard or two. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty, um, yeah, I had, I had no clue until I saw the replay. In the video, it's all five of you guys are, have the same idea at the same moment. Like, is that something you've been coached on or was that just kind of just the way the group's like thinking? Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, coach really hammered, you know, run to the ball and when you do, nothing but good things can happen. So um, I think you saw that, you know, yeah, Bobby's fumble recovery, um, just like the awareness, like, you know, look for the ball carrier, you know, try to push him. And then just, I think that's just our team, like how we come together, like we're just going to fight for each other and fight for every inch. When did you, like, notice that the play was going viral? Uh, not until, like, after the game. Like, I got a bunch of texts, like, you know, like, great fourth down play, like, save the game. And I was kind of like, I didn't really get it until I saw the video because I was like, I, I thought in my mind, like, he already had the first down. So, um Pretty, pretty special. Does it feel good today? How do you think it compares to Bush Bush? Oh, uh, Bush Bush is mean, probably more special. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's two legends right there. So. <laughs> Four games through, and, and you guys haven't turned the ball over. I know you're not handling it as a, as a you know, receiver or runner, yeah. but is that something you guys think about or, or talk about? How much is that? Kind of yeah, I, I, you know, I think the skill guys work on a lot of ball security. Um, I think, you know, fall camp, uh, our defense put a lot of pressure on us, you know, punching the ball out. You know, coach is always yelling, you know, run to the ball. And, and the, de the defenders, like, are, are punching it for, like, 5, 10 yards. So I think, you know, that shows shows up on Saturday, helps the offense with ball security, and then defense, you know, helps them create more turnovers. So spring ball, like, every time we were on the field, it was always an emphasis, you know, ball security, and then defense is trying to knock it out. I guess to you going through a little bit of adversity, something similar you guys face with the midseason firing, but what have you seen from them on tape? Yeah, I mean, they they have a really talented D-line, um, really talented front seven. Um, they play hard, they play physical, so uh, we're going to be in for a good one. They're, they're, they, they have tremendous talent. Um, we just kind of uh, started watching them, but yeah, I mean, I mean, they got guys that have played a lot of ball and that have a lot of experience, and um, they play hard, and they play physical. So did you get a thank you from Caleb the next day after the, the push? Did he? <laughs> no, I haven't. So. No? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on. We'll talk to him. No, no, he, he did. He, he was like, awesome job. Um, he said like he just was kind of ready for it. Like, he kind of saw me coming. Um, so it was, it was a great moment for us. Did you just break down what you saw and how you saw it? Because, I mean, it's happening so fast out there. Did you have a clear vision that, okay, he stopped and I need to push him? Or Yeah, I, I, like I was I was past pro and my guy went to the left. And then I, I kind of like felt him spin off. And I just kind of saw him run like right into my line of vision. And I, I kind of see him like going lateral. And I just like... I don't know, I just had the instinct to go and try and knock him forward because I, I, I knew it was close because um, I assumed it was kind of like in that five, six, seven yard area that he got and they clearly didn't blow the whistle. So it was like, it must have been close and I just ran and tried to nail him. <laughs> so be between that and, and Bobby's fumble recovery, you guys kind of had to do some extra work. Yeah, that, I mean, that you know, Bobby's fumble recovery is, is huge. You know, that, that's a seven-point turnover for Oregon State. So um, hats off to that. Yeah, and yeah, it was, it was just kind of funny because Caleb kind of, like, looked at me. We kind of, like, locked eyes when I hit him. So he knew it was coming. <laughs> he had a play last year where he took it away from his own running back on a fourth down and got it. 
no, knock out from you mm -hmm. on that? You don't want yeah. to take, take the ball and, and try to run with it? No, I, I, I wouldn't be too good with that. <laughs> so I just, I'll just do what I do best and just go hit someone and try to push them. <laughs> Can you talk about how in a game the play calling flow moves when maybe the run is working and the pass is not and you guys are kind of a pass first team but you kind of got to go with what's working yeah yeah i mean um kudos to oregon state um you know their fans brought the noise um their de their defense brought a lot of unique looks um so so they did a great job but um yeah i mean i i i don't think anything was different we just got to execute a little better um running pass so we, we missed a few things um so we, we just got to get that fixed what was coach henson emphasizing after the film it, it was just like the little things like you know our hand placement again um you know i doing certain things that i should have saw um just better communication all across the board um but you know he really gave us hats off like when it was time to go score at the end you know we, we put together a really nice drive and um, so, so there's some there's some really good things on film. Um, you know, obviously, not every play, not every drive is going to go your way. So he just said, you know, offense was kind of cold, and but when when it counted, you know, you guys did it and uh, put together a nice drive. So um, th there was things to build off. Were they, were they as varied as you thought they'd be up front, and they just just did a good job of their stuff, or did they throw some unscripted stuff at you? Yeah, they they threw some unscripted stuff for sure. Um, but we know we knew going in. I mean, they were a good team on film, uh, physical. You know, play really fast. Um, I already had a lot of schemes, a lot of mental games. You know, on their film. So, um, and, and then you know, playing on the road, um, long play. You know, crowd noise. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just it was kudos to them. They're a good team. So, um, and we we just got to execute better. Yeah.